In this video, I will show you what I take with me on short haul flights. So not the long ones, really just like one to three hour shorter flights. I think this is super helpful for you if you don't fly as much as I do. I travel a lot because my boyfriend and I have a long distance relationship and I visit him. I'm so lucky that I can actually re work remote, not all the time, but part of the time. So it's really amazing because I can um, go to Malta tomorrow and just enjoy like almost two weeks of sun while working and I don't have to take any vacation days. But anyways, that's why I'm flying so much. And I always try to make my flights as comfortable as possible. I really figured out what I should take with me, generally speaking, but especially what I take with me in flight. So I packed my bag already. It's from Longchamp and I really love it because I can put so many things in there. And the best part, because it's actually very soft material, it always fits. Like when airports um, or airlines check whether your bag is too big or doesn't fit the measurements, this one always fits the measurements because I can just like do this and make it smaller. But then on the other hand, I can put a lot of stuff in there. Okay, I will just get everything out, show you what's in there and hopefully this video is helpful for your next flight. Let's start with headphones. I always actually take two pairs of headphones. I have the Bose, Bose? I don't know, noise cancelling ones. And honestly, for me, they are life-saving. I'm very sensitive to noise and the flight noises, but especially all the people talking around me can really stress me out. And with these ones, my flights are so much better simply because I can just be in my own zone, block out all the noise from outside and just don't hear anything. Then I also always take my really old airports but i really love those and i just switch forth and back let's say for example i'm not in the flight but i'm just walking around in the airport i actually don't like it if i don't hear what's happening around me so i always take both and depending on the situation i use either or uh, then let's start with entertainment i always take my Kindle or a book or magazines. For me, it's always the Kindle because I read a lot and in this way, I'm not limited to how much I'm able to read. If I read more on a trip, I can just buy a new book on the Kindle and I don't have to, well, lift so much weight because books are really, really heavy. Let's continue with entertainment. I can not show you that because I'm filming on my phone right now, but obviously I take my phone and I make sure that I download some podcasts or Netflix shows so I can listen or watch whatever I'm in the mood for. And then I also bought this tiny thing of Amazon so you can actually like have your phone like this and be able to watch a movie like straight in front of you without looking down, without holding your phone. And this is one of the things that make short-term flights because obviously you don't have entertainment on board that makes it so much more convenient and so much more fun then i have a scarf in there and this one is actually great because it doubles as like a beach towel kind of thing i always make sure that i take it because you never know it could be cold on the flight i can just wrap it around me and when i'm on my destination i can use this as a beach towel or just to sit down okay Let's continue with water. I always take an empty water bottle because I can fill it up um, when I'm in the airport and I don't have to buy any water or drinks. Continuing with snacks. I usually go into airport lounges. I actually don't fly business class, but my boyfriend and I, we have credit cards. And with those credit cards, you can visit almost every airport lounge. And honestly, if you're flying as much as we do, this is so convenient and that's also why I don't really take much food. I have a protein bar with me and an apple. You can never go wrong with like an apple or a banana, so I take this. Okay, let's continue with more fun things because I'm pretty sure you don't know what this is. Another random thing I bought off Amazon. This is a footrest. Like when you fly long haul, you usually have those kind of footrests, but then when you only have a short flight, you don't have them. And I'm the kind of person I always want to put my feet up in some way. So this really is amazing. Life-saving, like bring something to charge your phone. You never know if your flight might be delayed. Maybe you have to take another flight, whatever, always take it. Usually I also take a power bank, but I, I really can't find mine. I don't know where it is. 
But yeah, usually I would bring a power bank as well. Sunglasses for two reasons. Maybe I need them on the flight, maybe I need them in the airport, before the airport. But also, if my suitcase goes missing, I just can't live without my sunglasses. Speaking of things I don't want to lose. So if you have anything you would be sad, upset whatsoever for losing, like not just money-wise, but things you just can't replace. So for me, that's jewelry, but also we need like credit cards, passport, money, these kind of things, simply your wallet. I'm like a bit of an anxious person, so I always like double, triple check. You don't want to forget your passport. That would really, really suck. I never print out my flight documents. Honestly, I fly so much. I always have these things on my phone. It never went wrong. Okay, we are almost done. So this is just my emergency hygiene stuff. All the things obviously like makeup and cosmetics and these kind of things and my suitcase. But these are the things I might need on the flight, I might need during my trip. Eye drops. Flying really dehydrates you and it also sometimes dehydrates my eyes and I can really feel, oh, they're dry. Maybe it's also because I'm on my phone the whole time, but I think it's a combination of being on my phone all the time and being in the airplane. Then some stuff to disinfect. Could be also wipes. I like this liquid one. Uh, this one is Dr. Bronner's and I really love especially this one because it smells like lavender. It's a bit more gentle for your hands. I also bring baby wipes. One thing I learned from moms, and I think that's actually genius, is to always bring these wet wipes. And they're so convenient in case like something is dirty, like maybe your, your table when you sit in the plane, anything, you never know. So I bring this in combination with disinfection. What else do I have in there? Toothbrush, deodorant, you never know. Lip balm, also again, dehydration and then I always take um, what what do you call this if you have a dry throat anyways my English hand cream okay do we have more hmm. tissues more things for your throat okay and this is everything I take with me on short flights and I hope there are some useful ideas for you. Mm -hmm.